Today we will talk about the bacterial cell wall polysaccharides. You are watching this lecture on my YouTube channel, Dr. Biochem Lecture. My name is Dr. Alam Zev. I am a professor at the Department of Biochemistry, University of Malacan. First, we need to know what is a cell wall. Cell wall is the outer layer uh, in the plant cell. It is a structural layer which is surrounded a cell, mostly in plants, and they are found in plants as well as bacteria. Uh, it can be tough, flexible, and sometimes uh, rigid. It provides the cell with both structural support and protection. Composition of the cell wall varies between species and organism. It acts as a filtering mechanism in plant cell. You can see this, uh, this structure. The green surrounding walls are usually called cell wall and the yellowish uh, layer is uh, the cell membrane and these are the other organs. Now bacterial cell wall. In bacteria, there are two types of cell wall present. One is known as gram positive and the second one is known as gram negative. These two types are based upon the staining of uh, bacteria with the gram stain. The first type of bacteria, uh, uh, bacterial cell wall is gram positive bacterial cell wall. Uh, this is my this type of cell wall is made of peptidoglycan. Uh, it is made of sugar and amino acid. Sugars are N-acetyl glucosamine called NAG and N-acetyl muramic acid called NAM. These two type of uh, um, sugar units are attached alternatively by beta 1 to 4 glycosidic linkage. Um, while the amino acids are 3 to 5 and are usually attached to NAM, L alanine, glutamic acid, mesodiaminophilic acid, and D alanines are the amino acid present uh, which are attached to NAM. Uh, one layer uh, is attached to another by a pentaglycine cross uh, linking. Uh, Similarly, ticoic acid is a complex polymer of ribitol or glycyl residue joined by a phosphate is also present in gram positive cell wall. You can see the two layers which are attached to each other by the pentaglycine here. Uh, pentaglycine from the third residue, uh, amino acid residue is attached to the fourth or the next layer and this way they are forming a layer. Gram positive cell wall react with gram, gram stain. Uh, this is due to the fact that the cell wall is exposed outside. Example of this type of bacteria includes Streptococcus, Bacillus, Clostridium. Uh, in this picture, you can see the lower layer is the um, cytoplasmic membrane, uh, purines, uh, proteins, phospholipids, membrane proteins, and the uh, uh, filamentous uh, layers of the cell wall and there are uh, ticoic acid and lipo ticoic acid which are uh, moving upward. The second class of uh, bacterial cell wall is gram negative cell, cell wall. Uh, the structure is similar to the chemical structure is usually similar to that of the uh, gram positive but only ticoic acid is absent. Usually it is single layer surrounded by cell membrane, both sides. It contains outer membrane and lipopolysaccharides. Uh, the stain do not react because of the double layer membrane. Uh, in this picture you can see uh, the, out, uh, the outgrowth which are you uh, the outgrowth filaments are lipopolysaccharides and the two membranes are uh, present which is surrounded uh, by surrounded surrounding the cell wall uh, 
so the silwal is not exposed outside so it cannot react with the uh, dye and you can see it there is no dipoic acid and it is a single layer example of this type of bacteria includes e coli and a large group of pathogenic bacteria as uh, like pseudomonas Chlamydia and Yersinia pestis.